Rorschach's Journal, October 24th, 2017. Bonnie, the Argus Monitor, laid three eggs. Two of these eggs perished, but one eventually developed into a fully formed embryo. That was a little intense. Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about the newly hatched Nemo. He is a Varanus Panoptes Horne. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the incubation time, the incubation method. I'm also going to talk about my crappy homemade incubator. I'm Marty, and you're watching 221B Reptiles. Okay, so if you watched the uh, previous episode about Argus monitors, uh, you remember that the male and the female uh, eventually produced a uh, viable uh, clutch of eggs. Well, a viable egg. Uh, this egg eventually hatched. Nemo was born a couple of weeks ago after 203 days of incubation. Nemo, you two, you two. Nemo. The egg hatched naturally, without any help or assistance. Needless to say, that was a very intense moment for everyone in this house. The baby stayed in the egg for a couple of days or so. Once the baby emerged out of the egg, I left it in the incubator for a few more days. And that gave me plenty of time to prepare the hatchling's tank. Now, this is how I house monitor hatchlings. This is how I do it. You don't have to do it if you do not want to. I usually select a 30 gallon glass tank and I put a lot of cocoa substrate in the bottom. Not a lot of it, but just enough for them to bury in there if they want to. I make sure they have a water bowl, also one or two hiding places. I also have a heat mat under half of the terrarium. I make sure the basking area is between 110 and 120 degrees. I mist the enclosure and I try to get at least 80 to 90 percent humidity at all times. I like to cover half or three-quarter of the terrarium that allows a good airflow and since I miss the enclosure two or three times a day the babies have plenty of humidity and also a good airflow. When reptiles hatch it usually takes them five to seven days before accepting any food and that is because they have yolk present in their bodies. Nemo ate his first meal at four days old. <laughs> so proud! He also pooped a day later. Let me show you my crappy homemade incubator. A transparent plastic container is sitting on a thick blanket. It is filled with about five inches of water. 
there is a water heater resting on the bottom of this container. I use two bricks and egg crate to create a shelf. The eggs will incubate in the sim containers. I originally set the heater to 86 degrees and after monitoring the temperature of the egg, the egg was actually incubating at 84 degrees. A month later, I bumped the temperature up to 85 degrees inside the container, so I actually turned the heater up to 87 degrees. A month later, I turned up the heater up to 88 degrees to have 87 degrees in the egg box, egg container. Eventually, I turn up the temperature up to 89 degrees to have 88 degrees inside the container. I candle the egg every couple of months or so to check the viability of the egg. Around 200 days after the incubation period started, I decided to candle the egg one more time and I didn't see anything move through the egg. Then eventually I lost all hope and I thought the egg was dead and when I checked on the egg to see if it was dead or not, I saw a little yellow nose poking out of the egg. And you know the rest of the story. Now what's next? I'm planning to grow this little Nemo, who may be a female or a male, I don't know yet, but if it's a male, I will breed it to one of the other two little monitors that I just acquired. The two young monitors that I acquired about six months ago are, I hope, females. If in fact these animals turn to be males and I'm looking for new animals or a new female, I will definitely contact uh, Burl, the breeder. Are you tired? Tired of feeling blue? Tired of feeling tired? Are you ready to welcome an Argus monitor into your home? Call 1-800-BURL-WALTER or find him on social media. This professional breeder provides some of the finest specimens in America. Professional packaging, professional shipping, customer service, available 36 hours a day and 8 days a week. Attention, you may develop side effects like developing carpenter skills, you may become more active due to the water changes and regular maintenance, and you may also fall in love with this wonderful species. So Clyde, Nemo's father, is doing great. And, like I said, if one of the two younger animals are actually females, I will eventually breed them to Clyde, because they are from two different lines, from separate parents, because the breeder keeps track and has multiple pairs, and they are unrelated. Now, if you've got any questions uh, or uh, recommendations, uh, feel free to send an email, a fax, or uh, send your uh, carrier pigeon and I will reply uh, as soon as possible. Uh, subscribe to this uh, channel, uh, leave a comment, a good comment or a bad comment, and I will see you very soon for another episode of 